Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ascension Diaries YouTube channel. Happy November 1st to all of you out there. October was a doozy of a month. I don't know if we've gone through a month where I haven't said it's been a doozy, but it seems like every month brings its own flavor of purging and collective healing in a way. And there's always stuff moving forward. Things are happening and the cards that I received this morning for all of us were fantastic. A lot about a new start. And so I'll get into that in just a moment. <clears throat> um, I wanted to first of all first of all just thank you all so much for being here and I'd love to hear how your October went in the comments of course keeping the conversation going and we'll just jump right into the reading. So today I received the Ace of Air and the Ace of Earth or the Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. And these are what the cards are. Basically, I chose them from my angel deck and they have particular meanings written on these cards and the Ace of Air. And so these are our beginning cards. So we got the Ace of Air, which is the first of the swords. Um, and we have brilliant new ideas and inspirations is what's on here. A challenging beginning and then further to follow up on that on to look into the ace of swords instead of the ace of air just to give more of a background it basically says it's a wonderfully powerful card um, it signifies victory and triumph over difficulties in order to do so you will use great reserves of inner strength and clarity of thought so your success is well deserved and then we receive the ace of earth or the ace of pentacles for those of you who are understanding tarot earth and pentacles air swords it's all the same sort of symbolism so this one is the ace of earth ace of pentacles which is an influx or inflow of abundance a promising business venture important documents or contracts and to further up on that it mentions that it represents prosperity material gain beginnings of successful endeavors that bring good financial reward it would be an excellent card for those of you looking to start a new business a new venture um, so it seems like that there is great energy today for showing you that you are victorious, showing you that you are being provided for financially with this new venture. There is newness. There is beginnings. I also received the Soul Child card in my new deck, the Lightworker Oracle deck. And this card brought me to tears today, basically saying that you've undergone the death of the old order. It's the first sentence that it says here. Nothing is as it was, nor will it be again. And in so many ways, you've experienced inner death as you've bravely surrendered and which that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime. And even if you once loved it dearly and you couldn't imagine your life without it, deep inside, through that process, your soul has been gathering energy, drawing it away from the old forms of your life and bringing it to be birthed now so we are being reborn i had a crazy last couple weeks last week for sure of october it felt like a lot of stirring up a lot of anxiety a lot of energy was going on and it was uncomfortable and today i feel much better i'm really grateful to be in this moment and you really when you really start getting into this process you think it gets easier but it doesn't it, it, it does get easier, you get wiser, but it's still tough. Like the um, experience you go through, especially as an emotional person, is very intense. So it's nice to see that we are being reborn. It would make sense that we were going through a laborious process the last month and that we are being born again today. I would highly um, agree with that. So I'm glad that the reading we received was coherent. And regarding the space weather and everything like that, I've been watching and we're waiting basically for this big corona hole that's on the sun to um, have that energy connect. And it has put, it has connected. They say that it connected perhaps last night. And we're basically just waiting for the energy to be um, reachable to us at this moment. It's the wind is on its way basically. And so we're going to see how that's going to feel. So at least right now I'm feeling fine. The Schumann resonance has also been quiet. I can show you really briefly. This is what we're looking for here. This chart I've been watching because when the solar wind and everything starts to hit the planet, all these lines and everything gets all messed up. So it's been a little mess, but messed up, but I've seen way worse. Um, you can also see here as another depiction, the actual energy hitting the earth 
and it doesn't appear this is what it looks like in a more normal sense this is what it's looking like we'll see how it looks tomorrow and so the Schumann resonance like I said is actually slowing down it's getting quieter we had that big hit which hit a 68 yesterday at around 2 around 2 in the morning and so today November 1st we are experiencing very quiet Schumann activity it's actually finally relaxed so it's another indication that yes this relaxed this feeling I'm feeling this less intensity is for a reason I'm seeing it show up everywhere and it's really nice because it was not it was not easy it's a blessing every time it happens you know we know what's going on now we're like oh I'm being I'm having things bubble up from me and from my childhood from things in the past that I haven't talked about thought about acted on in so long and even if you are you realize that you do it very slightly all the time and now that that thing is being shined upon and other people are aware of that and it's crazy you're being I feel like uh, personally and a lot of us are being held to a very high um, standards and we hold ourselves to these high standards but it's like the universe is holding us to it too the vibrations we're in the roles that we're playing and that we chose is holding us to these high standards which I like so those of you who really are committed and most of you I'm assuming are I, I'm sure you can understand what I'm saying and that's just me sharing from my perspective I wanted to show you too that Saudi Arabia especially seems to be getting some really intense activity I looked up the news again and there's there's still lots of like violent um, um, I would say overall societal shifts are happening with the women and the men and things like that and they're getting weather but we're not allowed to see any of that and we're also not allowed to see South Africa, which would be blasting off, I'm assuming the most, because that's how it was last winter. And again, we are not allowed to see it. Both those stations have been down this last few, this last week, this crazy week, which I was thinking there would be a lot of readings for. So we did get a lot of Schumann resonance, thankfully, through the Russian site, but I have a feeling that it was a lot more intense planet-wide than the graphs can really show, I can really show you. I have just, I have a feeling because of my own experience but it was an intense last week of October. This is the giant coronal hole I was talking about. It is connected to us, should be bringing us and bestowing us with some lovely energy. We'll see how that goes. Solar wind's been normal. Um, X-ray is mostly normal. And sorry, you're shaking a little bit. And the electron flux was the last thing I wanted to show you that was being weird. You can see here again, those of you been following along, I've been watching this chart and it's been doing weird stuff. And today especially it's been doing weird stuff, but I don't feel weird. So I'm really, really grateful. And I'm really grateful for the reading that we had because I really needed to hear that being like, yes, new beginnings, things are starting again. We are fresh. I'm hearing also that November 21st to the 25th is supposed to be a really big time. And ironically, that seems to be the pattern I've noticed is that the 20th on September, that's when that big thing about the solar observatory went off. Again, in the 20s, like early 20s, um, all of this stuff was going on about the terror attacks and these caravans and everything that's happening in, at least in the U.S., um, which is what I usually see the most of online. So something else is going to be happening. I can predict put most likely on the 21st through the 25th, there's going to be some sort of collective conscious, you know, event going on. And I think it's going to be noticeable because it's a pattern of, I'm watching happen. It's like every month now we're going through almost the exact same pattern over and over until we finally enough of us was just kind of a, a rite of passage we're all trying to walk into the new earth which is basically making you melt off and slough off all of your old paradigm and it's it's kind of it's tough to go through to get rid of all your stuff to be relocated um, to get rid of all of your relationships and not maybe get rid of them but they just kind of fall away you're being pushed you're being um, inspired to go forward and I would highly recommend you guys to get a tarot deck even if you barely use one and you're trying to make decisions and you're like I have this question about what I should do and you don't have you know and you aren't sure you can just shuffle the cards ask source be like where should I do this or is this the right choice and a card will fly out or whatever pick a card after you ask that question and see what it says and really um, train your own intuitive abilities and start to trust yourself because it's 
big choices are coming. Like if they haven't already been coming, they're definitely being, they're coming. We have earthquakes all around the planet. I'm being told that this is going to be continuing and increasing. The global consciousness dot has been mostly in the green today. Everybody seems to be doing okay. And we have some astrology stuff just for the first of the month, which is Jupiter forming a trine with Chiron. And so it's a subtly uplifting time that brings us the opportunity to free ourselves from restrictive and negative attitudes that have been undermining our progress. We are especially open to learning from others and better able to help others to understand our point of view. So uplifting day is what I'm hearing. Really fantastic. And the QAnon boards have still been quiet. So all of that sort of thing seems to be going on. I just saw that there was a live stream of Trump talking about the caravan coming up, talking about all immigration and everything and pointing fingers and whatever. But whatever that is, it's not over. And maybe that's going to be the thing that's coming through late November. I feel like it wouldn't be because that's a whole month continuous, but it could be. But I'm sure there's something new coming and maybe it'll have to do something with the German crafts I keep seeing. Who knows? Maybe the Germans are going to be doing something. <laughs> We'll find out, but I'm really, really glad that we got to do this again today. Thank you so much for watching, giving me a thumbs up, providing a comment on your reflection too. I'm happy to be here with you, happy to do these reports, and I'm really excited to see you again tomorrow. Until then, goodbye, angels. <laughs>